The Storyteller Sloth, written by Catherine Veitch, illustrated by Catherine Selbert. Salvador Sloth's two favourite things were hanging out on his special branch and telling stories about the rainforest. One rainy day, Sophia and Felipe the spider monkeys turned up at Salvador's branch and asked him to tell them a story. Salvador was very pleased. He looked at their eager faces and had an idea for an exciting story. Sophia wanted a front row seat and settled close to Salvador. He cleared his throat and began. Once upon a time, there was a special little spider monkey called Camilla. Like all spider monkeys, Camilla's brother and sisters were experts at climbing trees, using their long tails as extra arms to grip onto branches. I can do that, Sophia interrupted. Word began to spread about Salvador's story and other animals came to listen. The spider monkeys were soon joined by some squirrel monkeys. The rain splish sploshed on the branch. Salvador continued, but Camilla wasn't like other spider monkeys because she had an extra long tail. Her tail was so long that it was always getting in the way. So Camilla's friends called her Clumsy Camilla. Word spread further through the rainforest and next a green iguana came to listen. The spider monkeys and the squirrel monkeys shuffled along the branch to make room for him. The rain drummed on their heads. Soon there were so many animals crowded onto the branch that Salvador had to speak up. One day, as Camilla slept, a big snake slivered along the tree. Eek! Oh no! Then, just as Salvador was getting to the exciting part of the story, there was an almighty crack and whoosh! All the animals went flying. Ah! Help! A wet Salvador fell down and down. He swooshed past Juan a snoozing jaguar who opened one eye lazily. Hey, what is going on? Not far behind Salvador, five dripping spider monkeys, four squishy squirrel monkeys and one damp green iguana all swished past one too. Plop! Salvador dropped onto the forest floor at the top of a muddy slope. He nearly landed on Gabriel, a giant armadillo. Luckily, Gabriel was snoring so loudly he didn't notice Salvador. One by one, five soggy spider monkeys, four sopping squirrel monkeys and one dripping green iguana also plopped onto the muddy slope in front of Gabriel. They didn't wake him up either. Salvador tried to stand, but he lost his footing on the squelchy muddy slope and tumbled past Pia the peccary. He was covered in mud now and didn't look much like a sloth anymore. Watch out, Sophia screamed at Pia as the spider monkeys, squirrel monkeys and green iguana followed Salvador down the oozy, muddy slope. Salvador had to think fast. As he shot between two trees, he flung out his arms, dug in his claws and held on tight. Fall into me, he shouted. A few seconds later, one by one, the five spider monkeys, four squirrel monkeys and the green iguana fell into his soft, muddy body. The rain washed the mud off the animals as they began to climb up through the layers of the rainforest. See you soon, Sophia yelled to Salvador as she leapt on ahead. By the time Salvador had joined the other animals in the treetops, they had found him a new sturdy branch. Salvador was pleased with his new home and was ready to finish his story. Camilla woke with a start. As she spun round to see what was behind her, her long tail whipped around too. The snake thought her tail was an even bigger snake and slivered off fast. Tell another story, please, begged Sophia. But Salvador had had enough of telling stories for a while. He was now going to do his second favourite thing, which was sleeping. The end. Thank you for listening. And if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and come join us for more stories.